Yo guys, what's going on? It's me, KRV, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you the fastest way to level up the Hemov system. Now, it's actually really easy once I figure out how to do this, and it's kind of broken. Now, I feel like this might get patched in the future because it's just super broken. It is ridiculous on how quick you can actually do it. So now, what I recommend is just doing having an extra warframe. So here, I just got a regular ash that I'll probably never use. It's level zero, and I've just been using it for this uh, leveling up. So now, if you see here, I am only level 4, but I've been doing this for quite a while now, and I've leveled up really quick, and I've only like got the Hem of System segment last night, and then I came off as soon as I got it. So today, when I've been playing for about an hour today, I've got it up to level 4. So first off, you want to obviously make sure you are kind of like maxed out on your resources, and if you see here, this last one, the bio is a really pain for me to get, because a lot of stuff is really hard to farm for the bio. Now, what you simply do is you just keep infusing one ability and you want to make sure to try and find the lowest one. So here, for example, is the lowest one that we use. So now what you want to do is just simply infuse it, get, put on conf uh, the last one. It doesn't really matter which one you're going to put it on because you're going to be getting rid of it anyway. So you want to put it on config C. Now, once it's on config C, if you see here, we level up a little bit. Now, you don't level up loads, but you level up a tiny bit. Then what you're going to simply do is just re remove it. And you don't lose anything. You don't lose anything. So now once you've removed it, you do the exact same thing again. And you put it onto Convict C. And then you just keep doing that over and over. And you keep leveling up. Now, I do recommend trying to find the one that is the most cheapest on the like the, the requirements. So if you see here, this only costs, this does only 5%. So I'd have two more goes on this. These ones, you like, I can keep maxing out them easy. But it's mainly the bio that does take a lot. Now, if you can find any that doesn't obviously take bio, but that's really hard to find. But yeah, basically, Master Summons, just basically just keep doing this, repeat over and over and over, and really simple to do. Now, obviously, make sure you use an actual Warframe as well, because they, um, they give you more as well. And make sure you're obviously feeding them, because obviously feeding them gives you more as well. So, just, or you could just literally just farm resources. So, if you see here, you can just keep maxing these out. And it doesn't really matter if they're low. Now they're still going to give you some anyway if you have a lot of them resources. So just keep doing whatever you need to do on them. And then if you see here, uh, we're kind of full now. It's just a bio that we need. Well, it's really annoying because they are kind of hard to farm. Most of the stuff is. So for example, cryotic, you need 3,000 cryotic. What, to be honest, it's going to take about, it takes quite a long time to do. 15,000 of these, these take a long time to do. What I recommend doing is doing the disruption on Lua. Uh, you get a, I think it's called a, a somatic fibers. Now you need 10 of them. Now I don't show here right now because I don't have any, but you need 10 of them and they can give you a really lot amount. So now for to get 10 of them really easy, is just do four waves, do five waves even. Now I make sure you do have a resource booster obviously because that would help out because obviously you get more. So you get about two every run every time you kill a boss. So when you have a resource booster anyway, and then obviously doing it five times, then you get 10. And then obviously that's the fastest way you can get the bio. Now that's the only one that is, does really uh, is hard for me to get is the bio one on here. So that's what I do recommend. Now it is just a really quick video, but that's basically the fastest way on level up the Hemif really quick. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Make sure you drop a like and subscribe. And yeah, see you guys later. Peace out.